from such other cheesy saxophone favourites as Careless Whisper. And what else have I done that's horrendously cheesy? Baker Street? God bless the 80s, eh? Um, anyway, this one, Songbird. Funnily enough, I didn't actually really know this before. I kind of vaguely recognise the tune, but I know that there are some die-hard Kenny G fans out there. So here it is. Here's how to play it. He obviously plays it on the soprano, so I'm doing it on the soprano despite uh, my preference. I'm not a soprano player, really. This poor thing is covered in dust. Um, but we'll give it a go, eh? So, um, yeah, it's in a slightly awkward key, unfortunately. Damn you, Kenny. Damn you, Kenny. Um, it starts on the F sharp. I think we're sort of in an F sharp minor. Yeah, we're kind of in an F sharp minor. You've got to be able to get right down to your low C sharp on a soprano without it squeaking, splitting, honking. You don't want... That's not a nice sound. You want... So if you can't create that sound, I recommend first, you might want to skip to my video on subtone. That's definitely a good way to control those lower, lower reg there. So here's the link if you want to go and check that out. Meanwhile, learning how to play this one. So it starts on the F sharp. F sharp, E, F sharp, do do do. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, do 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 do. I'm making more of an effort to uh, show my fingers because I've had a lot of people from sort of Brazil, Spain, lots of um, people that don't speak English, certainly not as quickly as I say, as I speak it, um, asking me to make my fingers more pronounced so they can see what's going on. So, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. F sharp, E, F sharp, C sharp, and that's that low C sharp that you want to really do in a subtone so that it's a bit warmer. Second phrase. So it starts off similar. F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp. F sharp, A, oh, sorry. G sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, C sharp, F sharp. Uh, third phrase, same as first. That wasn't a great example of a subtone, but you get the gist. Uh, so yeah, third phrase is the same as the first. Fourth phrase goes. Uh, watch the rhythm of, those, of that every other phrase. So it's got this kind of syncopated thing, which took me a second to grab onto. Da, 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 da. Um, otherwise you won't quite get in sync. So, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. G sharp, A, B. Sorry. Um, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Um, B, E, C sharp, F sharp. Okay, so that's the main theme if you just want to be able to play a little bit of Songbird. He actually goes off on one after that. We've got kind of like a B section. So, yeah, why not? I'll carry on for a little bit in case you want that little bit as well. But that's the main gist if you just want to be able to play a little bit of Songbird for when people say, oh, you play the sax. Play this little bit of Kenny G. Uh, so the B section, if you do want to go on. So, C sharp, A, B, A, B. <laughs> F sharp, E, F sharp. Uh, second phrase of the B section starts similar. Okay. Okay, so I got to keep working out. I don't know this tune very well, which is perhaps a little bit ambitious to do uh, within 10 minutes of filming time. Okay, uh, C sharp, A, B. Do, do, do. C sharp, E, F sharp, A. So it's all around this F sharp um, minor pentatonic. If you haven't done your pentatonics, you might want to look at my improvisation series. There's a playlist all about improvisation, and I talk a lot about the minor pentatonic, which is just a really, really useful scale. So many tunes are based around it. Anyway, we digress. Uh, here's a link to that. <laughs> so. Okay, so we've made it through. C sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, high A. Okay. F sharp, E, C, B, A. 
the C sharp. So I used a cheeky C in there. I've been using C sharps all the way through. That C is a flat five. Ooh, what a dirty note. Um, have I done the blues in my improvisation series? If not, I definitely should. It's a good blue note, that. We'll talk about the... Ooh, soundtrack to my life going off in the background. Um, I wonder if that's important. Last little phrase of the B section. So we're going right up to the top C. Well, C sharp, actually. Which, by the way, for God's sake, put some fingers down to flatten that bad boy out again. Whew, he's high and sharp. He just works up the scale, really. Uh, so, B, A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, A, B, top C sharp. Up in the gods. And that's it, really. That's Songbird. Well, that's the main gist of it. Just to get the idea and have a little bit of a toot around it. I hope that was useful for you. I'm going to put the soprano away now for the next year or so. Bye, you old words I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was useful. Please give me a thumbs up if you think it was. And uh, let me know any other tunes you want to work out or tips and advice that um, you're struggling with or you think I might be able to help you out with. Meanwhile, if you don't see me on YouTube, you may see me on Twitter or Insta, all of those things. If you haven't subscribed, why the hell not? What's wrong with you? This is the place to be. See you later, babe.